What is going on, everybody? Lou and Mary here for the Long Island Dash Experience. Today is Sunday, April 7th, and we're going out for four hours doing a, a dinner shift from four to eight o'clock. As always, Mary gets to start off with our goal. $100. Yes, let's make $100. <laughs> I'm feeling that I feel like we're gonna surpass that. It feels like it's gonna be a great shift. I'm fired up for tonight. Been looking forward to this, so let's get the ball rolling, the apps rolling, all the other stuff rolling. Let's just freaking roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll out. Oh, and get gas too. And get gas. All right, so we are here at the gas station. We need to get gas. So we're gonna go check the good old Upside app. If you guys aren't using the Upside app, I don't know what you're doing, but if you'd like to save money on your gas, like we save money on our gas, uh, then use the code here on the screen and uh, you guys get a little kickback, we get some kickback, and uh, you know, it helps out of everybody. Helps support the channel, helps support yourself, helps up out, help support your wallet, wallet by signing up for Upside. And yes, we will be able to save some gas here. Not a lot, just one cent, but that's okay. We'll take it and uh, we'll go fill up the car while we just get some orders. Oh, and I'll turn off the car, so. You should do yeah. that. Yes, it'll help too. And I will open up the gas tank. Do that too. That will help. Nope, okay. getting an order. What do we got? Hop rides. Be any good? Nope. Terrible. Terrible. Oh no. Crap. Mary, I'm, I put the wrong gas in. I put the wrong gas in. Oh. I don't know if that's going to matter or not. Crap. I put the wrong gas in. I don't know if it's going to matter. I didn't fill it up all the way. I didn't fill it up all because the way. Because you're not paying attention. Like, you're, you're facing your phone the whole time. Yeah. Like, is that bad for the car? I, I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. I didn't fill it up all the way. Well, you filled it up pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what happens if you have put the wrong I mean it's the it's car. it's unleaded it's just yeah it's probably fine comment below if you guys know anything about cars uh, since we just used 93 instead of 87 is that gonna be a big deal for the car or maybe the car is gonna be like more awesome now because it's the better gas whoopsies oh we got an order by the way sock and bento. I don't know look, look Google <laughs> yeah I'll Google it uh, we got an order sock and bento. okay uh, six dollars for 1.6 miles on DoorDash let's see is it okay to use 93 gas in car if you normally use 87. <laughs> Short answer, if your car needs only the lower octane gasoline, you can use that or any higher octane gasoline. Your engine won't know the difference between the required octane ratings and anything higher than that. Huh. So basically- it As long as it's not diesel. Yeah. If it's diesel, then we got a big <laughs> issue. Oh, I, I... Yeah. Yeah, so it's okay. Yeah. Except for the price. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll be better for the car. Yeah, maybe my car's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Cause me fired up right now tonight. Cause me like, cause me like, take that order. I don't care. We're good. All right, let's go pick up some sock and bento. Let's go bento that sock and. By the way, sock and bento was really good. If you guys are in the area, check it out. Really good bento yes. boxes. Yes. Hi, I'm picking up a DoorDash with uh, Carl R. Uh, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks so much. Have a great night. wants me to take a picture of the bag to protect my rating. So I'll take a, I have no receipts. So I'll take an order photo and take a picture of the actual bag. Interesting. Do you guys, have you guys seen this one? <laughs> That's definitely interesting. Take a picture of the bag. All right, well, take a picture of the bag now. And I did that again, where it's like, take a picture of the receipt. And this is, if there's no receipt, then take a picture of the bag. So I took a picture of the bag. So dumb. Yeah. Like, it says to protect your rating. rating. How does it protect your rating? Like, who's rating that? Right. Well, no, because I guess like if uh, if somebody says that they, that you stole the food, but how does uh, that prove anything? Like, okay, I take a picture of the bag and then I steal the food. Like, <laughs> like what? Like, how does it protect anything? Stop sign. Is it the top door or the bottom door? There's two doors. I'm gonna. Oh, let's see. There's a picture of it being left at a door, and that was. That's the front door. That's yep. So we're gonna do that. Just like that person who delivered the McDonald's did. Are you going to put it right in front of the, the door so they can't open it? Yes. Just like the McDonald's person did? Yep. Did, did they really? Did they? Let's say. No, oh, no, they, no, it's further they put away. It they did a good job. Okay. I love these pictures. So it has verify the correct order, making sure that I get some delivering the right order. You've only picked up one thing, so, but okay. DoorDash knows who's working for them. Yeah, so then it, uh, it shows the picture that I took. And it oh, says, next to it. Yes, oh, yeah, it's, to it's compare. Clarify. Yes, it's clarify you're yes. dropping off the right order. Oh. Well, I guess he was the guy from that door anyway, no from the other door. Oh, well, well, he could he could just say. Yeah, maybe he likes to do that. Uh, McDonald's, $5, 2.1 miles. Okay, we're Might right. Well. We're, we're like, like 
Yeah, it's right here. right there. Might as well. And we'll get an add on. It works. Keep them coming. It's always so nice when, like, when you get the order and then it, like, sets you up for the next order. Yeah. Like, I wish this happened all the time and then it was never any downtime. That's the way it should be. The app should know. The app and, should and the people ordering should know. Like, all right. They're right there. Okay. Yep. Let's, yep. let's order that food right now. And that specific place. Yes. There you go. This one didn't have me take a picture of the bag, but this one I have to type in the numbers. So I have to type in the numbers on the bag. But I mean, that, that doesn't prove anything because I already know what the numbers are right. because that's yeah. the one I'm looking for to pick up the order. It's like, why it's like DoorDash wants you to take a picture of some items, but some items it doesn't want you to. Yeah. Comment below if anybody has any idea. Anybody has the inside scoop wait, wait, on what the hell DoorDash is thinking. What's behind here. their shenanigans? Yeah. Give us, give us the scoop. Right Comment below. Time. That's a really wide turn there, lady. Yeah, she's like all about the wide turns. Comment below. Do you think her turn was wider than it ever needed to be? Because she was like, oh no! Yeah, that control. Target Circle 360 launches today. Okay. On shipped. We're excited to expand our customer reach with the launch of Target's new paid membership, Target Circle 360. Target Circle 360 members will get the free same-day delivery powered by Shipped on Target.com and the ability to order from any retailer in their area on the Shipped Marketplace. Offers for Target Circle 360 orders will appear just as any other order in the Shopper app and you'll process them the same way you typically would for Target prepaid orders. Check out the Shopper Hub for more details, including how your preferred connections will transfer uh, for Shipped members who sign in we sign up for Target Circle 360. I mean, it sounds like they're just basically saying, uh, yeah, nothing's really changed. Yeah. <laughs> basically just saying. But I guess if you have Circle, you ha you basically have ship for free. Yeah, yeah, like, I guess so. You, you, if you have Circle, you're, you have ship. Yeah. Like, you don't have to pay the, yeah. the, fee, the fees for ship. You know what they should get? Those people, they should get the feature that on ship, like when they tip in advance, that ship shoppers can see that tip, so then they actually want to take their orders. Mm -hmm. Like, ship would be so much better if we just had a clue about the tip. Yeah, had a clue. It would change every. It would change everything. It would. Like, I don't understand why shipped refuses to show the tip. I think we'd be doing shipped a lot more often. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, the first time parking. Hopefully the last. Hopefully the last. Except when we park at Seven Eleven. Oh, tomorrow we got the uh, solar eclipse. Yep. All right, it hasn't happened for us yet because that's tomorrow. But for you guys, it has happened. So mm -hmm. did you guys? Uh, were you guys, did you guys have an opportunity to see the solar eclipse? Uh, did you guys see the solar eclipse? And, you know, share your thoughts and comments below. I'm curious. Uh, what do you think about the solar eclipse that's going to be happening tomorrow? Do you think we're going to see it? Are you guys uh, going to, well, like, it, what's, what's well, your plan tomorrow for work with this whole situation? I work. Are you going to be patient at that time? Probably. That's um, fine. All right, let's see. Tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy. So will we see it? I hope I so. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to see it just get dark, like, all of a sudden, like, randomly. Yeah. I'm very interested. To I don't see know. That. I'm in. I'm in like, no windows area. So I mean, I can go to the front. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd have to actually get out of the basement. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to because I don't have any windows where I work, in the basement. Between that and and the earthquake that we had. A couple yeah, we of had days an earthquake ago. in New York. I don't know if anyone knows. Yeah. We had a well. It wasn't Assuming in. You're living well, under a rock. It wasn't in New York. It was in New Jersey, but it it went all the way up to Albany, which is the capital of New York. If you don't know where New York, like that's upstate New York, but yep. we're on Long Island and we felt it. And there was, there was two aftershocks. I didn't feel the aftershocks. No, no, um, just, I just felt the original one, which I thought, I thought, I thought my computer was breaking. Yeah, I was at work and I was like, who is stomping on the building? Yes. And, and then my, my friend who was in a building right next to me, she called me right away and she's like, did you feel that? And then we all knew at that point. And then, um, but I thought it was crazy. Like, cause I didn't realize when you said, oh, Madeline felt it. I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah, our daughter upstate, you know, she's just a little bit north of the city. Um, she felt it. And then I texted my sister who lives up in Albany and they felt it too. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was pretty wild. Did you guys, comment below, did you guys feel the earthquake where you were, if you're in this area? Um, what were you guys doing and what, what and what did you think about it? Me, personally, I was just like, I, you know, I, I, I was like, okay, this is, I, it feels like a big deal because it very rarely ever happens here. But then when mm -hmm. I turned up the news and, and heard the news like completely like 
making it more than it really was. Oh, yeah. They yeah. exaggerated the yeah. whole thing. And comment below if you're in California, were you laughing at us <laughs> <laughs> for, like, you know, taking it as uh, seriously as we were? But, like, for me, like, after it, I felt, like, queasy. I felt, yeah. like, like a headache was going to come on. And then yeah. just, like, physically, like, if I felt, like, a little, like, wobbly on my feet. Mm -hmm. But when was it? 2011? It was 2011, yeah. When we had, we had a, a kind of an earthquake then, too. And that one, I felt... I felt weird for like a week. I'm surprised you actually remember that. They what felt weird for a week because it was so long ago. Oh, no, I just remember. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I, I remember I, driving I home too. and I was like feeling a little weird. Is that normal for, for you guys, guys who experience earthquakes uh, more often? Is that normal to like feel dizzy up there in an earthquake? Even yeah. a small little, little one, like a 4.8? All the comments. I mean, it wasn't a little one. one. It's like 10 I, is 10. It seems significant. 10 is the highest and 4.8 is like kind of like halfway there. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it's not like Taiwan. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But, right. You know. But, but, it's, but, but, but it's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, my stomach rumbling either. Right. Anyway, comment below all the comments. Comment this, below. This is what we have to do because yes. now we're sitting here waiting for an order. Yeah. We don't know what else to do. Also, I, I need some advice on new shows to watch. I need something to watch. On, give, give her something to watch. I started watching a show. Give me, give me something to binge watch. I started watching the show, uh, it's called, um, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's about aliens. Okay. So it's yeah. a good show. But I, I finished watching it before you can watch it, because you're actually going to mess up the whole episode thing. Yeah, tonight. exactly. Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, Lou and I have the same profile. I just don't understand why we just don't make our own. But we, we, probably, it's okay. we, we probably should. But it's okay, because all my stuff is on there, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what to watch. Give Mary suggestions on what to watch on Netflix. She could bang out a show like in a week. Yeah. Roughly. I'm, I'm now embracing. I do have shows. to catch up on. Um, there are some shows that like I, I do watch, and I just can't find where I can watch them because, actually, no. I if you go on, if you go on IMDb, uh, there's a button that says where to stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I, I do have to, I do have to catch up on Yellowstone. Yeah. Um, and there are some shows that like I've been in the middle of watching. I just like I like I like to binge watch. I don't like to watch it like like I, I'll watch James and I watch. Um, Survivor and Amazing Race, but like that, you need to watch live yeah. because you don't want to get spoiled. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to, you know, I, I don't know what I like. But shows I like to binge watch because it's like when you say binge watch, movie. you mean like watching like a bunch at one time. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I, I, we might I, have to get coffee soon. Yeah, I think so. Maybe we should start driving over there. Wouldn't it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I think for me, I, I did enjoy actually watching. Like, I think I watched like three episodes that one night, and I, I did enjoy that. I enjoyed saying, okay, I'm just gonna sit down and watch like multiple episodes of the show well Lou's been saying for a while he's like ah I wish there were more movies blah blah but if you think about it if you if, because they do like these little like limited series so if there's like a, a six or eight episodes that's really like two movies right that was, and that's what I'm kind of thinking now it's like okay these are like what is movies are now mm -hmm. because movies now seem so condensed even though they're like two and a half three hours that they said okay let's make all these TV shows right. that now uh, more things can be explained and there's less plot holes. Yeah. I did just watch on Netflix, um, it was New York, Hom I think it's called New York Homicide. Um, it was actually very interesting because it, it had, it was like a five episode series and they maybe they'll be making more, I don't know. Um, but it was basically like law and order, but like real life, like they're real life stories, real life detectives, real life DA talking about the, the, yeah. um, the cases and stuff. So it was, I, that was very interesting. I guess we head over to Seven Eleven, and if we get an order what? before we guess it, what do you get? if we get an order before we get Seven Eleven, then then we end up taking it if it's good. If not, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. But I feel like we've just done our our Netflix TV show uh, news roundup for this episode. Yeah, and then maybe in a couple episodes, I'll let you know what I watched and my reviews. Yes, 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 yes. We will. Yeah. Listen, this is what we got to do. You know, we got to keep things going. You know, delivery is just Pizza slow. Pizza Hut's coming. That, then you know what? Once Pizza Hut's oh, done, things gonna be out of control. Yep, out of control. Pizza Hut every day. Uh, yeah, we got a new. We do have a new member <gasps> actually. Yay. Yeah, we do have a new member. Um, so thank you very much, uh, new member of the Long Island Dash Crew. Um, welcome, Tiffany Johnson. Oh, welcome, yes, Tiffany. Yes, Tiffany Johnson. Welcome to the Long Island Dash Crew. Hang on, let's see if there's a good order here. It's not. Um, no, very much appreciate becoming a member of the Long Island Dash Crew. As a member of Long Island Dash Crew, I feel like one of the main things you get now, besides the emotes and the emojis and all that good stuff, is you get the video early. Yep. Um, as soon as I finish processing and uploading the video, you get to see a copy of the video. And I think I'm going to probably be finishing videos earlier now than I usually do, so you might even get them like, a couple days in advance. 
Ooh, um, that'd be depending nice. on how I change my editing schedule now. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how, if, if I'm able to uh, have better time management. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I appreciate Tiffany. And thank you for everybody else who's a member of the Long Island Ash Crew. It really helps uh, in supporting the channel. Um, these videos are not easy to do. And, uh, you know, any kind of support that we can get from the viewers is always very, very much appreciated. Yeah, so thank you guys thank so you. much. And if anybody else wants to join to become a member of the Long Island Ash Crew, click that join button down below or the link in the description. And, uh, yeah, once again, Tiffany Johnson. Welcome. Welcome to the Long Island Dash Crew. Crew. Now we'll maybe now, go to get morning coffee or get an order, one, whichever one happens first. Hopefully I can get across yes. before the slight changes. Wee! You, I think you did it. We did it. You did it. Back to McDonald's. We took another McDonald's order on the Uber Eats this time. It's not a great one. I mean, it's, um, it's you know, it's uh, good enough. It's good enough. It's getting us going. What the heck was it? $6.03 for 3.6 oh, miles. But, you know, it stays local too, which is nice. Anyways. Can I have one, please, please? All right. I got the McDonald's order. Their bags are so big. So big. It's like the biggest bags ever. Like McDonald's, they're like, yeah, environment, who cares? Oh, going all the way south. Yep. Going to the south. I was thinking about, like, our last episode where we were, like, talking about how, uh, you so know, like, cool being part-time is going out one day a week, you know? Um, you know, it's like, are we, like, really gig workers, things like that? And I think about it, like, even more. It's like, obviously, I feel like the answer is yes, of course. But, but. you know, we do this because we want to do it. Right. Not because we have to do it. And I think, like, I feel like that's, like, a mm -hmm. cool thing. You know, like, we do it because we want to do it. Exactly. There's nothing saying, oh, you must do this. Yeah. You know, it's like we do it because we want to do it. And right. I, I, I still enjoy doing it. Yeah. It's fun getting out, doing the adventures. If I have any complaint, it's like, is we need a like, good adventure to happen. We need something crazy to happen. I want something insane to happen. Maybe tonight's that night. Something insane happens. Something shocking. Like, maybe tonight I actually get eaten by a dog. That won't be good. Yeah, I'd be terrible. Actually. Down below. <laughs> Maybe eat by a cat. Now that would be interesting. Like a lion. I don't know if you if you if you noticed, but I do like it when we remain local. <laughs> of course, yeah. It makes it easier. Like I like I find like the shifts that we like venture out of like our area are like get more stressed. Yeah. Don't, yeah. It seems like our, for the most in part a, in our old age. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like for the most part, we haven't had many Orders that's even like warranted us to go yeah. anywhere. Yeah, they're not good. Yeah, they haven't been good. Because <laughs> they, they're not, people aren't paying. Yeah. They're not paying for the mileage. Yeah. Pump it oh, up. Grub oh, Grubhub. Grubhub. $7 a year. Wing stop. The Lindenhurst Wing stop. How far is it going? $7.52, 4.6 miles going west to west North London Hurst. Turn right onto East River Drive. Like we're nowhere near, I don't know. No, we, I mean, we're, we're south. Yeah. Wing stops that way. We I have guess to we still take it. We still have to drop this off, so yeah. we'll give them time to make it. That's true. All right, let's do it. And it's going to North London Hurst. All right, back up that way. Yeah, get, get Grubhub on the board. And if, if while we're still driving, if you could just get me that address so I can plug it in. Yeah. I didn't even turn my apps on. Well, there's been really no good Instacarts. I mean, I really can I just tell Instacart. you something? We filled up the car. I think we it said 374 miles. Yeah. And we're at 370. So maybe that expensive gas is like the way to go. I mean, is, is 90... Google, is 93... More fuel efficient? Yeah. That'd be the question. Get, does, does 93 give you better gas mileage? Okay. I'll look it up. The answer is no. <laughs> All right. It won't make your car... Perform better, go faster, get better mileage, or run cleaner. It won't do any of those things? Yeah, but no, he's paying for that. It's more expensive. It, what does it do? I don't know. That was like a quick Google search on it. Uh, I don't pain. The destiny. There you go. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. What was that? We're going back up to... Yeah, by Applebee's. Yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly. Let's set us up for the next one. Set us Let's up Let's go pick up that wing stop. Wing we haven't stop. been to this wing stop in a long time. Maybe they've uh, gotten their act together over here. Maybe. Hi, yeah, picking up from Melissa C for Grub Hub. Okay. Yeah, I'm just seeing that. It's Melissa, Melissa C. Grab up. Great. Thank you so much. Popeye, seven dollars seven cents, three point seven miles. Okie dang, we'll go next. Yep, keeping it going, and keeping it local.
Uh, Joe D. Yep. Joe D. Great. Thanks so much. All right, Popeye's on the ball. How about these Popeye's? Remember when Popeye's used to suck? Well, you know, some took a while. Yeah, we gave him a little bit of time, but. Comment below, which uh, fast food restaurants in your area have you seen an improvement from uh, that used to maybe be slow and all of a sudden they're not so slow anymore? We need to know. Yeah, I want to know. I feel like this Popeye's for the most part hasn't been too bad since it used to got to have a really bad rap. But comment below. Pita Bowl add-on, $6.50 for 0.7 miles. In yeah, we got to pass there. Yeah, why not? That's actually a really smart add-on by Uber. That's a very smart add-on. It's like Uber knows what's going on. How's it going? Pick it up for a Joe G for uh, Uber. Yep, no problem. Yep. Verify, order verified. If I can do it, I did it. Have a good one. Honey, <laughs> get it. It's a good one. No? So uh, 51 cents, 4.6 miles. I mean, yeah. it would keep us going. Keep. What else are we gonna do? All right, we're keeping the, as long as we just keep the things going, you know? The time's like, rolling. Somebody's orders are not $2 a mile, but they keep, you know, they keep the meat of run hand. They're waiting for you. Yeah, they're waiting for me. I'm not gonna wait. Joe G says, meet a door. Hey, how's it going? Thank Have you. a great night. Thank you, you too. All right, that should take us 0 0.2 miles at Tahaney. It's gonna take us forever. Yup. Forever. Are you on, uh, picking up an Uber for Cameron K? All right, I think I click on now. I'll be like one. Yep. Okay. You can just grab one of the the raspberry one right in the middle. This one? Yep. So the dance going on here, huh? With the lights? That's gotta drive you insane looking at that all day. Great. Have a good one. Alright. It's a Haney. Very busy and era as always. But they got tables in there now. They actually got like uh you know like uh, yeah, eating area, benches, you know, you know, like the booths. Yeah. Booths and benches and yeah, booties. nice to see they have that. Yeah, and booties. So let's see. Meet outside. Oh. Oh, it's uh, Our Lady of Consolation. What? I guess it's a church we're going to. Yeah. Uh, purple awning entrance. And there's a pin. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Person, uh, <laughs> Interesting. And we're going to... I mean, how funny is that? We're dropping no, maybe, up at a church maybe, and they require no, a pin. No, maybe it's like a like a home or something. Okay, yeah. Either way, still. No, it's probably like a... I think it's like a retirement. Okay, retirement. fair enough. I guess that's the purple awning. And that might, that might be Cameron K. It might be. It might be Cameron K. Yeah, it might it be. Oh, that's what Cameron K says, <laughs> meet outside. Oh, so purple awning entrance. Purple awning, yeah. Yeah, it likes to, it, it, it likes to just say that stuff. Uh, hang on. Sorry, what was it? Come on, terrible internet. All right, cool. The internet's really bad over here. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Have a good one. Me too. I'm good, I guess. We are at $45.63. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, it's over $20 an hour. Yeah, it's over $20 an hour. Grub up. No. Yeah, why it's so bright out? Now we wait. 642. Maybe it has not been going as amazing as we had hoped it would have gone, mm -hmm. but it's going nonetheless. What we got? I'll see if we get it. It's a, a wing stop. North no, Babylon? No. I was trying to get that wing stop and... Somebody else got it? No. Yeah, all requests were taken. Like somebody got it. Yeah, of course, because, you know, trip radar needs to be a thing. It was a good one, too. Oh, wait. I guess we did get the order. Okay. Uber's so weird. All right, North the, ba North in the North Babylon one. So the order was... Is there a bathroom in there? Uh, that one's up, yes, there is. We've used it before. I don't think I have. You have. I have the video to prove it. Uh, the order Shows was me right $13.06, now. $13, $13 <laughs> cents, uh, going five miles uh, back to Babylon. So, me? yep, it's a good one. It was part of the uh, the trip radar. Trip radar. And we actually got it, even though it said I didn't get it, but then it gave it to us. So it doesn't know what the hell it wants. Wait, so we're going up there and then we're coming back? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's not but it's well over $2 a mile and a lot more fun than what the hell we've been doing. And now we got the second, this is the, this, these are the only two wing stops in the area. So it's like we got the, the duo, the wing stop duo. The wing stop duo and I can go potty. Yep. And uh, two different apps. Oh, yep. and a potty break. And Mary gets to go to the bathroom and she's like, yeah, oh, let's sort of at least get us to 60 bucks. I don't think we're going to make my goal. I don't think so either. Yeah. I felt very confident going in tonight too, but you know, sometimes just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh. Yes, what the cookie grumbled, the grumbled cookie. Freaking imperial, imperial orchid. Oh, you hit 19,000 miles on your car. Oh, that's finally. It. That's it. Return it. This must be like an awful house to live in. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? We're canceling that order. Where are we going? $34, 6.7 miles. Where are we going? Uh, imperial Orchard. Oh, okay. I, mean, I hope this isn't a huge mistake and like take some order that uh, 
that there's a problem with. But I, I, I you know, I mean, thirty dollars. Thirty four. I moved to where I was going. I really didn't care. But I have to go potty. Pure Orchard is a bad. I can't go there. Why not? Because we're not there. You don't have to go in there. I'm gonna say can't find parking. It's very, very possible. It is possible over there. All right, hopefully, there's nothing like glitchy about this. Order. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, we, we didn't even see that you got to the location. How could, how can they? Yeah, well, there's nothing glitchy with this order, but it's like you have to take it, and yeah. then I'm worried. I'm worried this order is just way too good to be true. Let's see, maybe they ordered like the world. Oh, you're probably gonna get that big, huge tray. I mean, they ordered ten items. They ordered a lot of stuff. Good loud thing. <laughs> loud thing. I, I, mean, I just said Imperial Orchid. We were passing by here too. It's kind of funny. You didn't see. I did. I said Imperial Orchid actually. Oh, oh, that's right. All right. All right. You sure you don't want to come in and use the bathroom? Mm, no, I feel weird. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Uh, Hi, I'm picking up a Grubhub for a Diana R. Grubhub music. Diana R. Diana R. Yep. Not ready. Maybe like two minutes. Okay. Actually, it's a big order. So yeah. Yeah. Just I figured as much. Like 10 items, I think, or something. You can take a seat if you like. Uh, can I use your bathroom? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Hi, yes, yeah, Diane R. Yep. Then the R. Yep. Yeah. I assume that was it. It's in a box. <laughs> box by Yeah, they, they, they went all out. Uh, made another order. Yeah. Well, can right, good, for, good for them. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you. Oh, this is a first. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, that's not going in the bag. No, it's on box anyway. $140. Oh boy. Yeah. Eight eight seven four, right? Eight seven four, yeah. All right, nine minutes. Holy cow. What an order. This this very well could be like the biggest order. The biggest single order for like one, you know, one thing. I feel like I think we might have ever gotten it. Yeah. I don't think we've ever gotten anything any bigger than this. This like this is almost as like our, our unicorn. Yeah, this is this might be our unicorn. Yeah. And grub I don't know. of all things. Melly, you've seen all the videos. Yes, you Melly. tell us. Melly. Is, I mean besides 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 Instacart. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's about like a yeah, food delivery order. I don't think we've ever got like, I'm like, turn the car around. <laughs> we can't find parking. And and it like, I got to, I know, sorry, I, mean, I did get to go to the bathroom. But but like then when I came out, it was ready. He's like, it's been up two minutes. He goes, actually, wait, maybe not. It's a really big order. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, I saw it. It's a pretty big order. Well, that will help. It's a little boost. Yeah. <laughs> did you add that other one in there? The the one that we were going to go pick up right now? Yeah. No. Well, that so, wasn't in there. And we were at 60, 60? No, no, we were at 47. Oh, 47. So 47, another 30. That's 70 something. We, 36. We might oh, be 30. able to get to our goal. <laughs> we might be able to. It might actually happen now. That's yeah, the fact that like, this is not far away at all. Eight minutes. Jesus. Insane. Comment below. What did you guys think of that order? Would you have yeah, like would you? us? Yeah. I know it was funny. It's like the other order was like a good order too. It wasn't like that. Uh, the Wingstop order was a bad order. Right. And it was going that way and then just bringing us yeah. right back this way. Yeah. The poor Wingstop order, like they tipped well. But I mean, these people tipped like uh, the best people in the world. Let's see if they live in a mansion. Yeah. They live in a mansion. Like, they wouldn't tip that much. Left, we kidding. That is true. They live in a shack. Yeah. So then what, what will this bring us to? All right. So this then would bring us to... I'm sorry, it's 3445. So that's what we were at? No, that's uh what the order was. 3445. Oh. So it's to bring us to eighty dollars and eight cents. Definitely doable. It's doable. We can do twenty dollars. We can get twenty dollars. We could do it. I mean I don't know if we are, but we but, but it's, it, it's, but it's possible. possible. This was definitely a like a nice little a nice little surprise. A nice little pleasant surprise from the Grubhub guys. Okay, if we don't get an order and we're driving back this way, we're gonna stop at 7 Eleven and I'm gonna have a bathroom. Hopefully the 7 Eleven has a bathroom. What are you talking about? Our 7 The good 7 Eleven. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Poor Mary. Coffee. Poor Mary. All she wants to do is go to the bathroom. And Grubhub's throwing $34 orders all the way. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Yeah, so uh, the base was $3.54 and they tipped $30.91. Wow. Thirty dollars and ninety-one cents. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Holy cow! Wow! That is fantastic. Well, what is the biggest tip that you guys have gotten on food delivery? On food delivery, that definitely is our biggest. Like, there's yeah. no even, like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Yeah. Fantastic. Like, I think we've had like over fifty dollars on um, shops. Oh, totally. Yeah, but definitely not. I, well, what was the one like my first delivery? Remember my first delivery and the guy gave me a cash tip and he gave me that $20 cash? Yes, yes. I wonder, I, I mean, I guess we'd have to go back to see what the actual tip was that was that he gave initially. Yeah. Because that, that might, that might um, that be close to there. Be close to it, yes. Oh, 
crazy. That was sick. That was sick. That was good. We like it. So we're at, would you say 70? No, 80. 80, 08. 80, 08? Yup. Run into 7 Eleven so Mary can use the bathroom. We'll see if we get another order in the meantime. 7 20. Nah. This order's going to ice. I don't think Mary's going to be too happy about that when I, when I tell her, but I mean, it's 10 bucks and it's going to get us closer to the goal and hit that $100 goal. But it is going further out east, further, much further away from home. We shall see what happens. Like, the good thing is, at least we'll be able to, like, if we can get an order then going on the way home, I feel like that's the play. Uh, so, good news, bad news. This order is $10. Oh, where's it going? Islip. But then we can get something on the way home that will hit, let us hit our goal. All right. Because it was five Cause, miles. Because yeah. it's 7.30. Yeah. Just about 7.30. Yeah. And this could always have a hidden tip, too. It was in that uh, hidden tip territory. So, what would this get us to, 91? Yeah, it's... Uh, I guess I'll probably see if on first. Chitty? Yeah, chitty, chitty cheesesteak. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this will then bring us to, because uh, the order was $10.41. Yeah, so this will bring us to $90.49. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot closer to uh, our goal than, yeah. <laughs> than I thought we were going to be. Yeah, a million times closer. I wasn't sure we had 80, I'll be honest with you. Hi, I'm picking up an Uber for Travis F. Travis? Yeah. Come in. Okay, thanks. Travis? Yep. Great. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Oh, I have my bag it over there. Oh, you chucked it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is that a freaking box? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Get, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. But then stop at that stop sign. Yeah. And stop. And then stop. <laughs> All right. What are we doing with this mofo? Well, we got nine minutes oh, for you to find it. It's another meet at door. Oh, all the people want to meet yeah, you. Everybody's like, oh, everybody's like, oh. The one on dash experience. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Thanks, man. Have a great night. Take care, you all right, ninety dollars. So we just start driving, heading towards our world, and get an order that's banging. I think that's the play. I and mean, do we do we stay on Montauk Highway? Yes, I think that's the best strategy. But once we pass it, we're not going back. Like if if there's something that's oh yeah, we pass. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. The plan is. I mean, unless we like literally like it's right there and we're past. What if the order is hundred dollars? Well, it's not going to be hundred dollars. I'm just saying, just hypothetically, that could happen. And then, and then drive to Connecticut with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. 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 But we got the good gas. I don't know. We're at 336 now. I don't know about uh, that. Maybe. Maybe it was just in our heads. Yeah. Maybe we were just trying to justify the mistake. <laughs> Even though it clearly didn't matter too much because I, I still only spent like 30 something dollars on gas. Didn't really change too much. But it was like a dollar difference. Yeah. So it would have been only like $30. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Mistakes happen. Live and learn. Yep. Live and learn. Live and learn. And why is the flight not changing? All right, so now we're Bayshore, so it would have to be something in the Babylon village. Yes, not Bang Bang, because Bang Bang's not on this road. Well, we could get up to Bang Bang. Okay. So Bang Bang, Hershey's, Chitties. Those are still in we, play. They are still in play. Still in play. Zest is in play for two seconds. And Zest is out of play. <sighs> well, even if we don't get this last 10, I'd say this would end up being pretty successful. Yeah, considering, considering we were like... Yeah, there's no way yeah. we're getting it. Yeah. Did you guys think we'd be this close? Well, we drove all the way out from West Side, from East Islip, and we're pretty much back home. We're almost home. So. So I think we're gonna call after, it. Yeah, I think it's, it's after eight o'clock. That kind of sucked that we could not get the final ten dollars. Yeah. In the last hour, and we drove, we drove the way of. Um, of the way of the the stores. Yeah, the way of the stores to try and get orders. So. But I mean, the fact that like, like we were not even, if we didn't get that $36, $34 order, we would have been nowhere even close. Yeah, because we would have only been like to 70. Yeah. If yeah. we had taken that other order, like if this other order hadn't come in, we would have only been at 70. Right, exactly. So, so. Yep. either way, it's all good. So um, guys, if you guys like this video, be sure to check out the video and playlist being suggested below. And as always, I'm Lou, she's Mary, and we're the Long Island Dash Experience. See, See ya. ya.